life ministry for men and women struggling with drug abuse and uh, basically uh, we provide a one-year structured environment for both men and women uh, we have centers on the big island um, on Oahu as well as Kauai and uh, our hope is to just continue to reach out to as many people as we can who are struggling with drug abuse that they will see the love of God working in and through the ministry of Teen Challenge um, that they will be moved to want to help support us as well as turn away from, from their addiction and um, just lifestyle of addiction, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing more about the organization. How about yourself, sir? Um, how are you involved with the Teen Challenge, and uh, what is your experience with the organization? Well, um, I used to be a really bad alcoholic, um, drinking nonstop, and I, my mother actually told me about this organization, and I've been part of it for almost two years now. And I graduated, now I'm kind of staff here. And I, I, it's, it's like a passion of mine now to spread awareness of it because of how it helped me, you know? And completely changed my perspective on life. That addiction, that lifestyle is something that people can get so caught up in and not see anything else, you know? And so this, this means a lot to us. Maybe, maybe you can tell us, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit more about your story and your experience with um, the Teen Challenge organization. Okay. Well, um, I went through the, my first program was in uh, Fort Myers, and I did 13 months at first. And what it is, is it's a residential program. You got a bunch of guys um, living together, eating together, doing everything together. It's a Christian program, so um, we... We believe that Christ is the way, you know. Um, he's the answer. He's our hope. And uh, so we go to church together. We travel and sp spread awareness. And we just like to reach out as much as possible because we know how it is to be in that place, you know. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. How about you, sir? Ta if you could talk a little bit more about the program. Um. Yeah, so I'm basically from the Big Island. Um, I was addicted to methamphetamines for 13 years. And um, I've learned about Teen Challenge a little over 10 months ago. And um, I've been through many other programs, you know, try to stay sober. And nothing ever worked for me, but I've learned um, the difference between Teen Challenge and other secular programs is the power of God that works through the ministry, you know, which really allowed me to uh, surrender myself uh, first of all, forgive myself for a lot of the things that I've done wrong and um, be set free, you know, be set free completely that I'm able to move on, move forward. Um, the ministry is, it's really simple, yet it's its complicating for many folks to grasp um, the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know, and um, it almost brings me to tears thinking about um, of how, how far I've come, you know, uh, being a part of Teen Challenge here on Oahu, uh, we learn things like um, personal studies for new Christians, as well as uh, character quality curriculums, um, where we learn to build our character. Um, we find our true identity in Christ, and um, it's really able to teach us life skills just through those basic um, studies of Teen Challenge. Yeah. That, that is, thank you so much for sharing your story. It really sounds like stories of transformation. Maybe you could talk um, just a little bit more about what it is that you learn from, you know, at Teen Challenge. Well, I've learned how to deal with uh, deep-rooted problems because a lot of it, you know, is more than just the addiction. You know, you learn how to deal with yourself. You learn, learn how to handle life without running to drugs and alcohol. You know, um, and so that's that's been my biggest challenge is just dealing with self and uh, and some of the the dark things inside of me that you see when when you uh, strive to be like God. And, uh, wow, that is just really profound. And it's really, I feel very special that you guys are willing to share your stories and also give back to the community. So tell us about what it is that you're doing right here today and how people can help. Oh, well, today we're right here. We're actually raising funds to keep our ministry doors open for those who are. Uh, we're preparing the way, basically, for others who are going to be looking into the ministry of Teen Challenge and possibly considering um, turning away from their their addiction. 
you know, so. We're so are you, you're taking cash donations or can folks just come on down and, and help out by giving cash or, or how, what's going on? Well, they can give uh, cash donations. That's great. We also have a list here of things oh, um, that the guys may need at the house, like, you know. Oh, wow. So I see. That's what this is. People who are coming right out of Walmart can actually, things like toothbrush, toothbrushes, pine saw, men's products, toilet paper, Ziploc bags, just those everyday things that people need. Um, you can come on down. And what time are you guys going to be here until today? We'll be here till 5. All right. So, folks, signing off for Think Hack Hawaii, please come down and um, support Teen Challenge. Come with some cash. Come with some products to help some young men, just great young men like this, um, move forward and, and show the, the glory and promise of their lives, too. Signing off.